Okay, so um, greetings from Turkey. It is an honor to be with you again. Um, this related individual is about 47 years old, uh, 175 meters and approximately seven, uh, 70 kilograms. And he has, he had an enormous amount of poison in her, in his system. And we had to investigate this. Uh, so um, uh, our investigation has been conducted by me in the name of Turkish Culture Ministry of Culture. And um, we have already know about the events. I mean, the crime of an individual from history books, but we cannot prove anything because we haven't been there. And you know, in history, you cannot experience something. Again, you can just um, read from the books or the legends or the, the rumors that are going around. And as a result, we could, find opportunity to confirm our circle record. We got bone samples from the individual and here are the results. You know, there are really, um, um, I can't talk, uh, heavy metals in the system. And most of these aren't appropriate for poisoning, you know, and so, um, uh, we, uh, we came up with the idea that this individual, the victim, uh, has an proclivity to uh, do workshop skills. So we suggested that the culprit um, may have gotten these uh, substances from the workshop to poison him so that it couldn't be traced back to him. And then uh, actually most of the case was done when we concluded this. And uh, we worked with several chemists, both in forensic um, forensic fields and educational field, uh, fields. And also these are uh, mummies. So there are no uh, record of these bones being on on soil, so this cannot be transmitted to the bone by soil. And then um, our point is that the individual was not buried in soil, so he was mummified in Turkish traditions. And then, yeah, we solved a cold case that was uh, closed for many, many years, many centuries actually, that no one really seemed to notice. And there was, like I said, no historical record. So we did, no, um, the suicide isn't possible because uh, he had uh, some of the things uh, that were um, related to future activities. Like uh, he was the leader of a regiment and uh, there was no sign of him going through any depression at the time. And he was actually uh, planning on uh, moving forward with his life at so many points. So this was not a suicide. We could not complete that. He had a conflict with his son and uh, the, probably the culprit is the son. So yeah, this is basically it. Thank you for, uh, thank you for attending. Thank you for listening to us. And we are so honored to work with you.